I just finished up the draft for the Be A Randy number 3 tournament, which will take place this Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Before we get into the teams that everybody is on and when they will be playing, there are a couple of clarifications that I needed to make with the rule set. Now, we had some people complaining about using the game battles, maps, and modes in this tournament. I'm here to amend that and say we will be using the MLG modes and maps so therefore the entire rule set will be the MLG variant as described on the Major League Gaming website link will be down in the description in addition to that there are no special gun variants or supply drop weapons I know you could use them in ranked play but they are not allowed according to the MLG rule set unfortunately with the esports setting in advanced warfare these items aren't restricted when you create a class so what I'm going to do is, before the match starts, or while the match is just getting underway in the first minute or so of the game, if you are using a illegal variant of a gun, I'm going to stop the match, I'm going to tell the offending player that they must choose a different weapon, and I will restart the match within the first two minutes. If you pull out an elite variant or something that is not allowed, an illegal weapon, after the first couple of minutes of the game, then I'm not going to start the match over. You are team is unfortunately going to have to forfeit the game and you will be removed from that team and somebody from the reserves will take your place. Another thing that is way down in the list of rules is that there are three different game modes that could technically end in a tie. Those are Uplink, Hardpoint, and Capture the Flag. If the map results in a tie, the map will be replayed with the same sides and settings. So that will take place immediately after the tied game. The last thing that I want to mention is what happens when a player lags out of the game. If a player lags out of the game, one of the cast will attempt to re-invite that player back into the game. If that player cannot come back into the game in a timely fashion, either someone from the reserves, if they're willing to fill in immediately, or one of the casters will take that person's place, so that this way it's not a lopsided game for the duration of the match. Alright, so now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get into the teams and when you guys will be playing. So, if you go down into the link of the description, there is the Be A Randy 3 sign up sheet. If you go onto some of the other sheets on that uh, Google Doc, you will see the list of teams with the gamer tags, including Twitter handles and YouTube channels, if they provided them to me. And also, there's another tab with the bracket, which has the matchup according to the challenge bracket that I'll also leave in the description. The matchups are labeled A, B, C, etc., etc., and the approximate time that you guys will be going so I did it in spurts of 20 minutes because with the amount of time it's going to take people to enter into the game plus the amount of time for the game I'm estimating about 20 minutes per game that may stretch out to a half an hour per game but I want to make things go as quickly as possible now go and check on the teams tab in the be a randy sheet for the team that you are on the team is all the way in the left hand column then there's going to be four names in the next column then the next team starts on the next line after that four so the team that you are on is the team name that immediately precedes you in the left hand column so for example the douche canoes consist of Nix V, Beta Eta Delta, Mapaulica, and Black Eyed Panda. The next team, the Window Lickers, is Rat JB, Billy Bedlam 23, Spongy Wi-Fi, and Chronic Blade, etc. down the line. Now, if your name is not on this list, but is in the first 65 rows of the form responses, that means that I done fucked up and contact me immediately so I can figure out what the fuck I did incorrectly with this. The next thing is if your name is on the team's list and you cannot make this tournament notify me as soon as possible so that this way I could pull somebody off of the reserves insert them in there before Saturday so that this way the reserve person at least knows that he is supposed to be playing I will contact you via Xbox live message or if you left the Twitter or YouTube handle I'll try and contact you through there if you are a reserve 
if you are after the 65th row on the form responses you guys are reserves if people do not show up to their game and believe me there will be people that aren't going to show up to their game you're going to be called upon in a first come first serve basis if you are in the stream chat that day when i'm streaming the tournament chances are you'll get a better pick to play whenever you are able to do it when will you guys be playing the douche canoes and the load busters you guys will be first batters up at 11 a.m eastern standard time following then is the scrotum sniffers at 11 20 a.m eastern standard time dumb shits and butt buddies 11 40 a.m fart smellers and corner campers at high noon the window lickers and circle jerkers are at 12 20 the twat waffles and muff divers are at 12 40 the cock gobblers and shit kickers are at 1 p.m eastern standard time and finally in the first round matchups the fuck nuggets versus the cunty monkeys you guys are at 1 20 p.m now the rest of the times are all outlined in the bracket tab on that sheet so so this way it'll determine as we go along in the tournament when you guys will be able to play next. You'll get an idea of when you're going to be playing. Now, these aren't set in stone, like I said, because we might have matches that run short, we might have matches that run long, and we might have a tough time getting people in to play games. So in order to make things as smooth as possible, I want things to start on time and in a timely manner. The one last thing I have to add is that I noticed we have a few players from Australia Australia that did sign up for the tournament you guys are going to have a tough time on my east coast us host you are not going to get above a one bar connection i tried to balance the team such that the australian folks are going to be matched up with mostly east coast folks but remember guys if you are not going to want to be participating on a one bar for those two or three of you guys that are are in australia please let me know i'm just forewarning you that you guys will probably have a miserable experience in terms of connection if if you want to back out of the tournament because of that factor, I don't blame you. Just let me know, send me a message, and perhaps maybe we could get you in the casting booth or we could work something out like that. Speaking of the casting booth, I have several guest casters that are going to be coming on board with me to work with me throughout the tournament. Some YouTubers that you guys might know and also some of my buddies. I'm hoping also that I will get some of the cast off people to come and help me out. Speaking of the cast off, tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on MLG.TV, I will be in the second round of the cast off. You guys can watch me cast live over on MLG.TV. LG.TV. I want to see some Schwann support over there in the stream because if I'm picked as one of the four semi-finalists then I will be moving on to cast at an regional event which is unbelievably awesome and an amazing opportunity for me so again MLG.TV tonight 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'm going to be casting the relegation tournament and basically what that is is the bottom four teams from MLG season one plus some some of the winners of some of the other qualifying tournaments will try and vie for spots in the next MLG season of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. All right, people, I hope to see you out there tonight. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments section. Peace out, you fuck nuggets.